hell let loose. An amazingly looking but also very challenging World War II shooter. Maybe you are one of those players who started the game and first experienced this. Well, the name says it all. Hell Let Loose is a hardcore tactical FPS set in World War II and it really takes time to get used to this kind of gameplay, especially if you're rather familiar with games like Call of Duty. But don't worry, if you follow our Hell Let Loose tips to the end, you will succeed more often and your gaming equipment will be able to live on. In this first-person shooter, you'll go into battle in the role of either a German or an allied soldier on a huge, very realistic looking map. This game is also often referred to as the anti-battlefield. Why? Because, like the Battlefield series, it includes large-scale warfare with a lot of open space. However, Hell at Loose focuses on hardcore realism and moves away from overly fast gunfights and movement as we are used to from the Battlefield games. In this title, you join a squad with up to 6 people on a server that can hold 100 players. You have 14 classes at your disposal. Officer, Rifleman, Engineer, Medic, Sniper or Tank Commander, for example. Each class has its own equipment and importance in the game. But the focus of our Hell at Loose tips is on the crucial gameplay that affects every soldier on the battlefield. Number 1. Look for a good shooting position. Increase your effectiveness in battle by always looking for a favorable position from which you can fire well and take cover at the same time. This will not only extend your life in the game, but also increase your kills. The more you play the maps, the better you will be able to identify and use potential positions. Also, take advantage of camouflage and bushes, for example, in order to become more invisible to your enemies. Tip number 2 in our Hell at Loose guide. Move carefully and tactically. A fast and especially careless movement in this game often means a quick death. Many times you will find yourself alone on the open field and have to find the way back to your squad. It's better to stay low and undercover to avoid being spotted by snipers or shot by a machine gun. Keep being alert and ready to fight at all times. In case of emergency, you can reach your target under the cover of a smoke grenade. However, keep in mind that this will also draw the enemy's attention to you. Otherwise, you can also call in suppressive fire from a team machine gunner if necessary. Speaking of communication, number 3. Always maintain good communication with your squad. You will quickly realize lone wolfing means quick death. It is best to join a squad that is well organized in terms of roles and that communicates more rather than less with each other. It will pay off for you in any case and you will be much more likely to achieve your goals through mutual support. Number 4 in our Hell at Loose tips, report enemy contact quickly. If you're shot at, you should try to react immediately by lying down on the ground. This way you reduce your attack surface, are ideally protected for the time being and can even take a breath if you're lucky. Use this opportunity to find out the approximate enemy position. Give the position to your squad, example with the help of your compass, so that your team can help you out of this miserable situation if necessary. In case of emergency, use the visual marker on the map with the help of the marker tool. Tip number 5. Effectively eliminate tanks. They are the terror of every infantryman. A tank can change the course of the battle in a few seconds. But they also have weak points which the anti-tank class can use optimally to your advantage. Therefore, at least one person of your team should choose this role. Otherwise, you can take armored vehicles under fire very well with an AT cannon. Both the body, tracks and turret of the tank now get separate damage. As an AT soldier, concentrate on one of those areas. However, the crucial weak spot is the rear of the tank. Number 6. Drop equipment before possible death. For example, if you are the first to storm a building and there's a good chance that you will die, it is a good idea to let the team know and drop off all your supplies beforehand. In case that happens, at least your team will have some more things to use. And that's it with the most essential Hell at Loose tips to improve your skills on the battlefield. If you like or dislike this video, show it with your thumb. Leave us a comment, let us know what you think and if you haven't subscribed yet, then it's a great time to do so and smack that bell.
visit our website yourgames.tv and follow us on Twitter at yourgtv for more content updates in the meantime and expect more videos from us soon. See you in the next one.